The murder of Hydea Pendleton has brought a chorus of calls to end the violence in Chicago. Mayor Rahm Emanuel announcing today that 200 police officers will be reassigned to the streets in high crime areas. There is growing concern in some quarters. So the violence in Chicago is already hurting the city's reputation and the city's bottom line. ABC 7 political reporter Charles Thomas joining us now with that part of the story. Alan Cathy, Network Television News shows front page stories in the New York Times and other newspapers. Chicago is getting a reputation as the most violent big city in America. When asked how the city's image has been affected by the violence, the mayor cited statistics suggesting the world is not afraid of Chicago. Our tourism is up uh, 8%, uh, hotel construction at record level. But public relations expert Tom Serafin disagrees. He says the murders and shootings are hurting tourism. People make those decisions to take their families somewhere for the spring and the summer. They're going to think twice and double clutch on whether or not they feel comfortable coming to the city of Chicago. As a candidate, Emmanuel promised safer streets, but shootings and murders have skyrocketed during his 21 months, despite the redeployments of over a thousand cops. You can put 20,000 police on the street until he deal with the real problem. Activist Mark Carter says young people need jobs and after-school programs, especially in violence-ridden black neighborhoods that gave 59% of their vote to Emmanuel. It was the African-American community that put him in office, but he's not putting these resources into our community. To improve Chicago's image worldwide, private businesses raised tens of millions of dollars to hold the NATO conference and even more in the failed attempt to host the 2016 Olympics. I think it would be smart on the business's behalf if they would invest in our, in our public safety issues. Can they step up and all of them and a number of them have offered to do? Absolutely. But so far, there's been no comparable private sector effort to address the image-shattering violence. We're not going to solve this problem with City Hall doing all the heavy lifting. Everybody's got to get into this boat and, and pull one of those oars. Otherwise, we're not going to get out of this jam. Serafin also pointed out that Chicago has fought being labeled a violent city for decades. The image problem, he says, dates back to the murderous 1920s, featuring gangsters like Al Capone. Okay, Charles, thanks. And there are a number of groups and organizations working to end the violence on the streets of the city. For more information on those groups and a look at how you can help, just go to abc7chicago.com and click on Stop the Violence. Three former Schaumburg police officers accused of running a drug ring.